Hey everyone, I'm here to talk about the Magic Ring version 2. Um, we've had the Magic Ring version 1 out for a few years now. Um, it looks like this. This is V1 and it has you know a single dot on one side where the uh, low frequency T5577 chip is. That's the emulator chip that can be used for uh, you know pretty much emulating any low frequency tag you come across. HID Prox, EM, Indala, um, Gallagher, Pyramid, pretty much anything. Um, and on the other side, on this side, there's two dots, or in some of the later releases, we omitted the two dots because it made it look more subtle and um, we just liked it better. So, um, But on this side, the opposite side, uh, is the Magic MyFair chip. And that chip is able to uh, emulate the legacy you know, MyFair S50 classic one kilobyte, um, four byte serial number chip, which is used kind of all over the place, like hotel key cards and gym access cards and stuff. So the Magic Ring is pretty useful because you can program pretty much um, any of the Magic, you know, uh, or any of the MyFair Classic um, legacy tags to it, as well as almost any low frequency transponder you come across. So it's a really versatile uh, device. It's basically the wearable version of our X Magic chip implant. Um, so, but the, there, you know, the, it was our first attempt and uh, we did the basic, you know, uh, antenna on one side, antenna on the other side. So when you're wearing it, it's a little bit annoying because you have to rotate it around and you have to bump it right up to the face of the reader. And you know, if you want to do something else, you got to rotate it. And um, so we we drastically improved, I think, in a lot of areas with the V2. So uh, the first thing is that it comes in a nicer box. So the V2 box uh, is this, and it opens up like a little book. Uh, and inside, you see the uh, Magic Ring V2. Um, you know, size wise, this, these are both size 12. Um, it's thinner, uh, it's, you know, more narrow rather. And, um, I think that's, that's a comfort, uh, design thing that, that, uh, really matters. So wearing it feels nicer. Uh, the material is, uh, more robust. It's, I think it looks better. It's a kind of a polished black chrome, almost, um, you know, centered zirconia. So, uh, it's really nice, but, for me, the most important thing is that the V2 uh, of the Magic Ring has a dramatically different antenna design. So rather than one uh, one antenna on one side and then one antenna on the other, or one chip on one side, one chip on the other, uh, this is a parallel tuned um, antenna approach. So the antennas in this go around the entire circumference of the ring, and when you're wearing it, um, you can now tap on readers like this, like a knocking motion. Um, so that that kind of uh, performance boost is pretty significant. So with the V1, you would, you know, you would be wearing it in such a way that you would present the face of it, and you kind of, you know, fist bump type of reader kind of thing uh, behavior, and um, it would, you know, you'd have to rotate around, and you could sometimes get reads without having to worry so much about orientation. But the V2 kind of blows that uh, out of the water in terms of performance. So let's grab some readers, and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have our two readers here. This is the KBR1. It reads my fair classic, any 1356 uh, ISO 1443A type chip. So, you know, magic my fair chip, perfect. Uh, this is a reader that I've got a few left. It's no longer made anymore, but I really, I really like it. It's a low frequency reader, reads EM chips um, or EM mode T5577s. But um, anyway, it's just a, a really nice reader with a, a nice antenna and it has some, some logic stuff built in you can do cool things with, but they're out of business and they don't make them anymore. So yeah. anyway, um, but what I wanna show is, so I have the, the V1 here with um, the two dots, that's the, uh, the MIFR Classic side facing out. And you can see, you know, I can get a pretty good range um, when it's facing the correct direction. And if I rotate it, to the, to the single dot side, I can get pretty good range as well, you know, maybe an inch off the reader in both cases, right? But um, the V2, uh, I don't have to be anywhere near the reader uh, to get a read. Um, I mean, it's way up here and I'm getting a read that's like two inches uh, off the reader face. And if I actually put my hand like a knocking motion, I mean, it's, it's gonna get a read, like no problem. You can also tap it, you know, you don't have to do the knocking motion, it performs well enough that you can uh, use the kind of fist bump approach as well. And then the same for the T5577 E low frequency. Like uh, it doesn't have a buzzer, so it's not beeping, but that blinking light means it's getting a read. Um, 
And so, you know, you can see again, way, way far off the reader. Um, performance is just that good. So uh, yeah, Magic Ring V2, I think well worth it and uh, happy to be bringing it to you guys. Um, yeah, that's it.